Hey everybody, this is Jay with JRWeldy.net. Today is September 12th, believe it or not. The beard is gone and uh, the spiky hair is back. <laughs> so, um, Synology, this station, 7, preview is out. And I got an email because I signed up for the preview and I was really surprised that I got it, but I did. And uh, I immediately rushed home from work. Well, not immediately. I waited to get off work and then immediately rushed home and uh, installed it, blazing through all the disclaimers at the beginning and uh, realized that Plex is not supported on DSM-7 yet. And uh, because it's a preview and not even a beta, uh, no third-party uh, software vendors have access to the um, the build for it yet and now um, I had to rush and put Plex server on my trusty Mac Pro back here I got out my naked drive caddy here and uh, threw a two terabyte hard drive in there and quickly copied my media off of the Plex application in Synology Disk Station 7 because honestly I don't trust when the SPK comes out for it and I install it that it won't wipe out my libraries somehow uh, because actually my libraries are sitting with Plex. So anyway, um, the new 7 is out. Okay, so some differences is there's the, the top bar is now broken up. You have um, uh, the normal icons over on the right hand side, the notifications, the options, the widgets, um, which are pretty much the same, but the icons are a little cleaner than six. Um, and it just looks a little bit more modern, even though um, there's not a lot of functionality. The package center is all beta, and uh, there's quite a few in here, but if you type in Plex, you get a Plex PY custom, which isn't what I need, um, and that's in a community um, package. Let's see, without showing too much of what I've got going on behind the scenes here, we have file sharing connectivity system and services, updates and restores. Um, my DSM version is up to date at 7.0-40850 and there's if you hit on release notes there's really no release notes as of yet um, configuration backup and reset everything over here looks pretty much the same um, although the info center is a little different like you get to see things um, pretty much in a clear pane across devices and device analytics uh, login portal, uh, that's uh, theming. Hardware and power is pretty much the same. Uh, Synology account and uh, so the, the concept of the control panel and everything else is pretty good in uh, DSM-7. Um, drive admin console go ahead through these you can see the uh, drives the overviews uh, package usage trend so um, it, it's kind of cool to be able to jump into um, DSM 7 in the preview although I'm very sad that I lost my Plex and um, we also have a new buy, new purchase. We have the, yes, AirPods 2 or Pros or whatever they're called. Man, these things are wicked in comparison to um, the original version. The just outstanding quality uh, of noise cancellation, transparency, all of that. It when you put these in, it freaks you out. That's how wild these things are. Anyway, I really like these. Uh, that was a pawn shop buy, brand new, uh, open box. 
let's see what else we've got going on here. Um, I already did a video on the GoPro, I believe, but let me grab that. I bought a GoPro Hero 8 Black, and uh, this camera is going to be my B-roll camera uh, for when I want to do stuff showing off the Sony a7 III uh, and the microphones and that sort of thing. So uh, this will be the B-roll camera. Microphone's pretty good in it. One thing you do want to buy when you buy one of these almost immediately a pair of tweezers because the, the SD card's so hard to get out of this thing. Yeah, it, it's just really in there. Uh, one of the guys that I watched that reviewed this, um, he takes the door off completely and uses the point of the door to pop the card, but then it's still kind of fiddly to get your finger in there to get the card out. And putting the card in, um, you know, it's kind of weird. You got to have it in exactly the right spot. Um, so there are my two new buys, and uh, displeased with Plex on Synology DSM, but uh, the Plex guys are cool as heck, and uh, they were on the forums and said, "Wow, we didn't know they were releasing it, and you should have read the fine print." because we can't do anything for you all until it goes beta something, beta uh, preview, beta something or other. So um, they're pretty much locked out of trying to really give us anything. Uh, that's it. Again, September 12th, 2020, and um, I hope you all have a good day. Take care.